Coverdale Bible, The Acts of the Apostles, written by St. Luke the Evangelist. What the Acts Contain, Chapter 13. Paul and Barnabas are called to preach among the heathen. Of Sergius, Paulus, and Elamos, the sorcerer, Paul preacheth at Antioch. The thirteenth chapter. There were at Antioch in the congregation prophets and teachers, as Barnabas and Simon called Niger, and Lucius of Siren, and Manahen Herod the Tetrarchus nurse fellow, and Saul. As they served the Lord and fasted, the Holy Ghost said, Separate me out, Barnabas and Saul, for the work whereunto I have called them. Then fasted they and prayed, and laid the hands on them, and let them go. And they, being sent of the Holy Ghost, came unto Seleucia. From thence they sailed unto Cyprus. And when they were come in to the city Solomon, they showed the word of God in the synagogues of the Jews, and they had John to their minister. And when they had gone throughout the isle unto the city of Paphos, they found a certain sorcerer and false prophet, a Jew, whose name was Barjesus, which was with Sergius Paulus, the ruler of the country, a man of understanding. The same called Barnabas and Saul unto him, and desired to hear the word of God. Then the sorcerer Elymas, for so was his name by interpretation, withstood them, and sought to turn away the ruler from the faith. But Saul, which is also called Paul, being full of the Holy Ghost, looked upon him, and said, O thou child of the devil, full of all subtlety and all deceitfulness, and enemy of all righteousness, thou ceasest not to pervert the straight ways of the Lord. And now, behold, the hand of the Lord cometh upon thee, and thou shalt be blind, and not see the sun for a season. And immediately there fell on him a mist and darkness, and he went about, and sought them that should lead him by the hand. When the ruler saw what was done, he believed, and wondered at the doctrine of the Lord. When Paul and they that were with him were departed by ship from Paphos, they came to Perga in the land of Pamphylia. But John departed from them and went again to Jerusalem. Nevertheless, they wandered through from Perga and came to Antioch in the land of Pisidia and went in to the synagogue upon the Sabbath day and sat down. But after the lecture of the law and of the prophets, the rulers of the synagogue sent unto them, saying, Good brethren, if ye have any sermon to exhort the people, say on. Then stood Paul up, and beckoned with the hand, that they should hold their peace, and said, Ye men of Israel, and ye that fear God, hearken to. The God of this people chose our fathers, and exalted the people, when they were strangers in the land of Egypt, and with a mighty arm brought he them out of it. And by the space of forty years suffered he their and by the space of forty years suffered he their manners in the wilderness, and destroyed seven nations in the land of Canaan, 
and parted their land among them by lot. After that gave he them judges by the space of four hundred and fifty years unto the prophet Samuel. And after that they desired a king, and God gave unto them Saul, the son of Xis, a man of the tribe of Benjamin, forty years long. And when he had put him down, he set up David to be their king, of whom he reported, saying, I have found David the son of Jesse, a man after my heart. He shall fulfill all my will. Of this man's seed hath God, according to the promise, brought forth unto the people of Israel the Saviour Jesus. When John had first preached before his coming the baptism of repentance unto Israel, but when John had fulfilled his course, he said, I am not he that ye take me for, but behold, there cometh one after me, whose shoes of his feet I am not worthy to loose. Ye men and brethren, ye children of the generation of Abraham, and they that fear God among you, unto you is the word of this salvation sent. For the inhabitants of Jerusalem and their rulers, for so much as they knew him not, nor yet the voices of the prophets, which are read every Sabbath, have fulfilled them in condemning him. And though they found no cause of death in him, yet desired they Pilate to kill him. And when they had fulfilled all that was written of him, they took him down from the tree and laid him in a sepulcher, but on the third day God raised him up from the dead, and he appeared many days unto them that went up with him from Galilee unto Jerusalem, which are his witnesses unto the people. And we also declare unto you the promise which was made unto our fathers, how that God hath fulfilled the same unto us their children, in that he raised up Jesus again. As it is written in the second psalm, Thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee. But that he hath raised him up from the dead, now no more to return to corruption, he said on this wise, The grace promised to, the, to David will I faithfully keep unto you. Therefore saith he also in another place, Thou shalt not suffer thy holy to see corruption. For David, when he in his time had served the will of God, he fell asleep and was laid by his fathers and saw corruption. But he whom God raised up again saw no corruption. Be it known unto you, therefore, ye men and brethren, that through this man is preached unto you the forgiveness of sins, and from all the things whereby ye might not be justified in the law of Moses. But whosoever believeth on this man is justified. Beware, therefore, that it come not upon you, which is spoken in the prophets. Behold, ye despisers, and wonder at it, and perish. For I do a work in your time, which ye shall not believe, if any man tell it you. When the Jews were gone out of the synagogue, the heathen besought them, that they would speak the word unto them between the Sabbath days. And when the congregation of the synagogue was broken up, many Jews and proselytes that, that served God followed Paul and Barnabas, 
which spake to them and exhorted them that they should continue in the grace of God. On the Sabbath following came almost the whole city together to hear the word of God. But when the Jews saw the people, they were full of indignation and spake against that which was spoken of Paul, speaking against it and blaspheming. But Paul and Barnabas waxed bold and said, It behooved first the word of God to be spoken unto you. But now that ye thrust it from you, and count yourselves unworthy of everlasting life, lo, we turn to the Gentiles. For so hath the Lord commanded us, I have set thee to be a light unto the Gentiles, that thou be the salvation unto the end of the earth. When the Gentiles heard that, they were glad, and praised the word of the Lord, and believed, even as many as were ordained to everlasting life. And the word of the Lord was spread abroad throughout all the region. Howbeit the Jews moved the devout and honorable woman, and the chief men of the city, and raised up a persecution against Paul and Barnabas, and expelled them out of their coasts. But they shook off the dust of their feet against them, and came to Iconium. And the disciples were filled with joy and with the Holy Ghost.